Guys, this is a 2012 Mercedes-Benz ML63. We are going to be showing you how to add Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to the factory screen. This will work on all ML series that have this NTG version, which is NTG 4.5 and 4.7. To do this, we're going to be using the Fitting Bay Automotive Integration Kit. This is just a module that goes behind the scenes, so we'll put it behind the glove box. All plug and play, very easy to do. Apple CarPlay, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, really bring this thing up to date. No more map updates, none of that crap. Um, so we'll go through the whole install today. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as always, our kit will be linked in the description below. So if you want to reach out, if you want to jump on the website and grab the kit, you can. And if you want to reach out to us, you can reach out to us too. All right, so first thing to get this done is we need to remove the factory radio. So we're going to start with this silver trim here, just on clips, plastic tools. I'm going to pop it out. Okay, we can set that one over to the side. Then we're gonna pop out the climate control. Same thing, that one's just on clips. Then we're gonna have two Torx 20s here, pop them out, and then these little tabs are gonna slide down, and that will release the radio. There we go, once the radio's out, we don't need this anymore. For now, we can set that over to the side, do all of our connections, and then we pop the radio back in. All right guys, so we've got the fitting bay interface right here. Now, I did mention earlier that we're gonna put it behind the glove box because generally that's what we do. In the ML, you don't need to do that because behind the climate control, there is so much room for activities. You can pop that down there, it's gonna sit nicely. Obviously, we're going to secure that down, but there's heaps of room in there, so that's good. The first thing you want to do is grab your quad lock connector and have a look to see if you've got the fiber optic plug here. If you do, you need to remove it. So it's pretty easy to pop out. And then that's going to go into the new harness supplied in the kit. So this will plug and play. And then this gets transferred from this plug to the new plug in the same section. If you don't do this, you will have no audio. So it's very important that you do this. So that's how it'll look when it's done. Fiber optic going into the new plug plug and play section at the quad lock is done so we can tape this up coming off of this harness there's two plugs first one is this one here with the grade connector that's going to plug in right there boom and then this is going to run to the interface which is here and we're going to pop that interface where we just seen before down there so that's going to run behind and down but we're going to tape all of this up make it look nice there's another cable right here this is your audio so this is important it's going to go from this section right here and plug into this part right here, which is on the other side of the cable, or the harness, I should say. So that's pretty much one loom that we can take, and that's pretty much the power side of things completed. So we'll get this cleaned up, and then we'll come back to the next part. Okay, guys, I'm happy with how this is looking. So we've got main section here for the quad lock, plug and play section is here, which is gonna go down and back. This part here, don't keep too much tension on it, Okay, because you have to be very careful with this. So sort of let it be where it wants to go and just keep in mind that when you go back in with the factory radio that it doesn't get snipped or anything like that because light runs through these, these are fiber optic. So be very careful with them. Next up guys, we have video. So this is a female LVDS, which is gonna go to the gray LVDS. Plug that in, boom, tape it up, run that to the interface. And then from the interface, you're going to get a pink so that is going to go where this gray one was before. Okay, so that's sort of intercepting the video signal. So this one's gonna run down to the module now and it's replaced with this new pink one. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense and I'll show you where they go on the module as well. Next up guys, we have the USB and the microphone. Totally up to you where you wanna put them. I've spoken with the customer. What we are going to do is in the ML, there's a nice big section down here. So we're gonna get the female side of the USB sort of in this area so he can plug in and charge his phone as well as, you know, whatever else you wanna use the USB for. Uh, microphone, roof lining, down the A pillar over to here, or some people go in this section here. Uh, totally up to you, you can stick it on the dash if you want, doesn't matter. So with these two things being optional, oh yeah, 
this isn't just for Bluetooth calls. You still use the factory microphone for Bluetooth. This is for OK Google and Hey Siri. So yes, it's optional, but we recommend you fit it. And same as that. Optional, but highly recommended to fit it. Software updates will run through that. Phone charging runs through that. Wired Android Auto runs through that, okay? So we'll get those two done. See how it looks when it's ready. When it's ready. All right, guys, so we've got all of our cabling done now. Microphone is done, it's hidden up in the roof lining. The USB we've got coming out through here. So our customer can plug in their phone, leave that cable down there. The phone can go wherever you want. Um, and now other thing to do is set your dip switches. So the kit will come with a little uh, chart and that chart will show you your dip switches. So make sure you set them correctly. And then basically power goes in, video. Okay, so the gray cable that went to the original cable here is the out because it's going out of the module into the original screen cable and LCD in goes to pink. So it goes out of the factory radio into the module, out of the module into the screen. This one here is your USB and then the microphone. And so what I will do is pop this down, get it out of the way, make sure it's safe so it doesn't scratch anything. Put the radio in, plug all the connections back in, and then test it and see that it works. All right, good sign, guys. The first thing we have is the original uh, screen working, so that's perfect. Now on this little control dial, we're gonna press and hold the back button. And it has switched us, but we have a black screen. So what we need to do, unplug the module, check our dip switch settings. Plug it back in. And just like that, we are into Apple CarPlay. Obviously there's no phone connected, so we don't have CarPlay or Android Auto, but this is what you want to see. NTG controller working, and obviously the screen works. Press and hold this back button. All original features work. So you haven't lost anything. Nav, audio, phone, you name it. Just press and hold back or connect your phone. As soon as your phone connects, it will take you to CarPlay automatically. Press and hold back, boom, into CarPlay. So I'll get this finished up. What we're gonna do is mount this here nicely, secure, get the climate control back in, put those two screws back in, climate control in, panel on, job is done. Nice and easy. We'll get that done and then we'll check back in. There we have it guys, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto working on the factory screen. We are using a cable connection right now, but you can go wireless with Apple CarPlay. All working through the factory NTG controller. And as I said before, press and hold the back button and you've got all of your original features. You do want to be set to AUX for the sound to come through. Press and hold back again, straight into Apple CarPlay. And then we can go ahead and say we want Spotify. Okay, got some music playing. Can turn that up. All working. Apple Maps, Waze Maps, uh, Google Maps, all work with the system. There's a whole bunch of apps here that work. This is really going to bring the car right up to date. Uh, if you have any questions about it, drop them in the comments below or jump onto www.shoptfb and you can reach out to us on the contact form. As I said earlier, the link for our exact fitting bay kit will be linked below. And that is pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.